Let's go now to Emily Turner. She is live at a Walmart in Chico where evacuees are spending yet another night out in the cold. Emily? It's very concerning, Liz. In fact, local officials worry they have a humanitarian crisis on their hands. Some folks say they've been turned away from shelters. Others say they simply didn't want to go because of the health concerns. And now there are lots and lots of people camped out in the cold. It's not set up by FEMA, the city, or the state. But this makeshift shelter in the Walmart parking lot is a temporary home to about 100 people or more. One of them is 81-year-old Donald Harden. What's it like to sleep in your car in the cold? Rough. I got arthritis that you wouldn't believe. I have to take pills to, uh, to survive, I should say. He doesn't want to go to a shelter because he has three dogs, so he's been sleeping in the parking lot. He's just one of many evacuated in the campfire who doesn't know where to go now. Volunteers bring food and supplies. Are you hungry? No, Do you I'm want good. anything? There are pallets of water and racks and racks of clothes, but the state knows the tent city isn't sustainable for long. Um, we're working with organizations like Airbnb and other kinds of of uh, organizations such as that to be able to get space for individuals over a longer period of time. And quite frankly, we're also looking now at, at the possibility of bringing in some sort of a travel trailer or some sort of a, a, a mobile home. As temperatures dip below freezing overnight and rain returns to the forecast, the deadline to make something happen for permanent shelter is looming. But hotels are booked for miles and many have become restless. Evacuees, volunteers and officials alike know the clock is ticking, but the fix still isn't clear. Oh, I just, I don't, I, all I can just say is God bless you. I'm, I'm, I don't know what to say, you know. I'm just out here trying to do what I can do. Organizers say about 85% of the folks out here are evacuees, that there is a small but a very present transient population. For the most part, though, they say things remain safe. In fact, I've seen several Paradise police officers patrolling this parking lot to make sure everything stays that way. Reporting live in Chico on the Nightbeat, I'm Emily Turner.